So hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about uh, Salesforce version and development topics. Okay. And so first, first topic, Salesforce version. So there are three types of versions available in Salesforce. So first one is the classic. Second is the lightning component. They are called as um, auto component. And third is the lightning web component. Okay. So now we will discuss about what are the things they are using in the each version. For example, classic. First one is the classic. I'm making it too bold. I hope it will very big. Yeah. In the sorry, classic, not a class. In the classic, they are using like a front and back end. They will call it this. So front and client side. And server side. Another name for client side is friend friend end. They call it as friend end. I think the size is very big now. We can reduce to twenty four. Yeah. Client side. This is the back end. Back end. So in the classic, uh, the front end will be um, Visual Post page, VO page. These are the two. Uh, this, is line, this language we are using. Okay, client side. And uh, if you take it in the server side, Apex we are using. So what is client side means? Uh, what are the things you are seeing in the screen? For example, in the um, Flipkart is available. In the Flipkart you are seeing some uh, details, right? That is called the client side. The back end, they maybe use some languages like a PHP and uh, uh, Java, they may be used. So, those are the server side. It will be server side communicated to database. Okay. And uh, the second topic Lightning or a com, Lightning common. Lightning component. Okay. In the Lightning component, um, we are using Aura component. One one tool is uh, the technology is available. So that one we are using as a uh, client side. And the back end we are using same as a uh, classic Apex only we are using. So LWC, Lightning Web Component, we call it as. In the front end, we will use HTML plus JavaScript. Okay. In the back end, here also we are using Apex only we are using. So now you do know about the importance of the Apex. Okay. So whatever you take, like a, whatever the uh, version you are taking, classic, RO command, LWC, in the class RO side should be Apex only. So that's why the Apex is very important to learn ourselves. Without Apex, we are not able to do anything. So if you know the Apex, then you can easily understand like uh, triggers. Okay and uh, batch class and um, future method and uh, next one is the um, uh, queueable class queueable class and the schedulable class schedulable class okay and uh, other than that integration Integration and okay. So if you know the simply Apex, then you can learn. You can learn about these topics. So that's why the Apex is very much important. Okay. So and these four topics are the asynchronous process. So asynchronous means like a without the in manual interaction, it uh, it will run in the back end. Okay. So that is the Apex. And that is the um, asynchronous process. Okay, so I believe you know about something about the what are the version and development we are using. Classic, Lightning Common, Lightning Web Common. Three types is available. I already told. And uh, synchronous and uh, asynchronous. So synchronous means like uh, it, the Apache class will wait to uh, give the uh, uh, instruction from the user. For example, uh, 
uh, in the registration page is available. So if we click that registration, uh, the save button, then only that uh, uh, process will be start. Okay. But as soon as process means, whenever the resource is available, it will automatically run in the back end. So is a manual, manual interaction is not required. Okay. That is the um, asynchronous process. So this topic is, uh, this, um, this one is for the asynchronous process. Okay. So next topic we will discuss about Apex and other topics. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.